Item number, SCP-335. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-335 is to be kept in a secure location to prevent tampering. Description. SCP-335 is a set of 153.5 inch floppy disks discovered in a cardboard box found in the attic of former agent shortly after her termination. Each disk is individually numbered and handwritten permanent marker. Disks are to be referred to by their number, SCP-3351, SCP-3352, etc. Each disk has also been labeled with a human name in the same writing as the numbering. 118 are male names, and 30 are female. There is some speculation as to whether SCP-3351, Jackie, is meant to be male or female. The names have no identified pattern. Initial examinations suggested that all 150 disks were blank, as their capacity all read as zero megabytes. Dr. determined that the disks were ordinary, and had them archived with the rest of former Agent possessions. It was not until another Foundation agent suggested the unlikelihood of Agent keeping a box of floppy disks in her attic among the other contraband, that Dr. agreed to have the disks examined again. It was determined that the doctor's original floppy disk drive had been defective, and a different computer was brought in. All 150 disks appear to have an infinite amount of storage space available. It is unknown whether the disk space is truly unlimited, or simply too large to measure. Regardless, the space is, effectively, infinite. When SCP-3351 was inserted into Dr. R's computer, the contents of a large pornographic website were the first data found on the disk. Further investigation by Agent showed that all the contents of SCP-3351 are of a pornographic nature. Note from Dr. I believe I know where all our bandwidth is going at night. Agent computer privileges should be limited until he either finds a girlfriend or learns some self-control. Further investigation revealed that SCP-3351 through 12 contained pornographic material. However, upon discovering the entire contents of Wikipedia on SCP-3351, the actual nature of SCP-335 was uncovered. SCP-335 contains the entire contents of the internet stored within its infinite storage space. It appears to have some sort of organizational system, with similar sites grouped together on the same disk. Experiment 3357A showed that when content on the internet is changed, the content on the corresponding disk changes to match. Precisely how this occurs is unknown. It is uncertain what would happen if content on the disk were changed, as all 150 disks seem to be locked in read-only format. Addendum Agent has proposed on numerous occasions that an experiment be conducted where a disk is destroyed. Dr. as well as O5 agree that this could potentially have disastrous effects on a large portion of the internet, and could draw unwanted attention to the Foundation. Such an experiment is not to be attempted under any circumstances. Addendum 150 names have been written on the disks. No pattern has yet been identified in the names. Note from Dr. Just some points of interest here. Disks 1 through 12 apparently contain all of the pornography on the internet. With all that there is, I can see why whoever made these got the porn out of the way first. Disks 85, 86, and 101 contain image hosting sites, such as Image Shack and Photobucket. MySpace is also on Disk 85. Disk 30 seems to contain the Google homepage and nothing else. The rest of Google's websites seem to be scattered all over the place. I've only found a few parts. Disc 119 has emoticons. Millions and millions of emoticons. Forums, instant messengers, and from other places. After looking long and hard, I have found that can be found on disc 76. I find it very disturbing that this disc has the same name as SCP-76. Notes from Agent SCP-3385-85 and 58 are the same name spelled differently. The name Ryan is used on both SCP-3352 and 33. SCP-3358 is named Heath, 
and that one actor that OD'd on pills. He died at age 28. Vladimir Lenin was born in 1870, and SCP-33570 is named Vladimir. The name on SCP-33150 is Japanese, and roughly means beginning. I'm assuming that SCP-33520 is the Spanish name Jesus, and not the biblical guy, but I guess you never know. And I agree with Dr. that it's pretty disturbing that SCP-33576 has the same name as SCP-76. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-334, Stellar Vulpine, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.